Hey everybody, Dr. Ray. If I could describe what I'm gonna show you right now, it's mind blown, my mind is blown. I did a video several years ago when I talked about text to voice technology. I compared a few different sources and it was just not good. Like you would never wanna use it. Maybe for like two words on like a PowerPoint slide, that's it. It was just not good, I was not happy, not impressed by it whatsoever. Well, man, technology changes quick. It has changed, the AI has changed, that you know, the algorithms behind the, you know, putting, building this text to voice technology have changed, and it's finally ready. I am, as I said, mind blown. Absolutely, my mind is blown that there are now technologies out there that use text to voice that you can absolutely not tell that it's not a person recording it. You cannot tell. If you're in e-learning or training or any kind of like presentation development, oh my God, this is like a lifesaver, seriously. Like, because narration's very expensive. So this kind of technology is awesome. Let me show you the tech, it also saves a bunch of time and stuff too. Let me show you the technology that I've been introduced to recently. Um, I'm gonna talk about the pricing, we're gonna do some samples, we're gonna take a look and dig into it. And I'm also gonna tell you some of the, you know, the good and bad, all the, everything. Let's get in, let's learn about it. Okay, so first of all, I was sent this website several months ago called Well Said Labs. I was said, hey, check out this text to voice technology. You know, we're using it for some of our e-learning. It's actually pretty good. Um, you guys should use it because I, you know, I run a consulting firm where we do lots of e-learning and we do lots and lots of narration. We pay a lot of money. It's very expensive for clients to get a, a good solid narrator with a professional studio, good microphone, all that stuff. Um, so I, I'm always testing this technology out. So people are always sending me links saying, oh, try this one, try this one, try. And usually they're not good. But finally someone sent me one that I was like, oh my goodness, this is actually good. Okay, Well Said Labs. So you get to their website. We're on their website. We're on Well Said Labs website. You can see try for free, contact sales, or play some samples. You can see information about their product, their solutions, what they do for teams, and their pricing. I'll get the pricing. Let's get the pricing after we test the product out and stuff. Um, and this is their basic website. That's it. You know, pretty simple, basic website. All right. So you can try the product out or you can pay for it. But let's dig in. Then we'll get into the pricing stuff because that's more of the boring stuff. Um, all right. So you get in. Now I have a paid account here. But basically you get in. You start off. I have a paid account. And you can see that. I created this, you, you can create projects. The studio is where you actually do the editing and then you can do pronunciation. So like if they're not pronouncing a word right, you can change it. And then there's some tutorials and settings. But the only thing we really need to focus on, this is a very simple, super simple piece of software. There's like nothing to it. You literally click projects, create a project. I've created one called testing that we're gonna use and you write something and you pick the person who's gonna say it and they say it. So I wrote, this is a sample paragraph that we've, I, I basically just wrote something so that we could do some tests, right? So I did some tests. Basically, you have the person up top. You can choose from many different voices they have. You know, old, young, um, male, female. I mean, you've got a lot of different variety here. All right, so you first of all, on the right-hand side, you can pick who's gonna, so you can click like more avatars and choose someone. You can see they got a bunch of different types of people here. So you get all kinds of different kinds of voices, which is kind of cool. Um, but really for me, I just wanted a voice that sounded good. Like any voice that sounds good, I will take because I've been searching for this technology forever. So you, you write in a piece of software, you click create, and then down here it creates the sample. So let's take a look. Now I will say that I did test, so right here I tested four and I tested some more before that. And I would say about 50 to 70% of the voices are I'd say 100% perfect. You can't tell that this was text to speech. And then a few of them still have that old problem. So I wonder if it's like something about the way a person talks. But anyway, let me show you this. So here's the paragraph. This is a sample, like, so just listen to this. You, you listen, you tell me what you think. Let me turn up the volume just so you can definitely uh, get this. You listen, you tell me what you think. This is a sample paragraph that we have written so that we can test various voices. This helps us to see which voices we like for various roles. We also like to test some difficult words or phrases like articulate and captivate to see if it can read them. 
This is a I mean, that's better than I could do t t talking. It's like perfect. Let's listen to a female voice. Just listen to how good this is. It's just unbelievable. This is a sample paragraph that we have written so that we can test various voices. This helps us to see which voices we like for various roles. We also like to test some difficult words or phrases, like articulate and captivate, to see if it can read them. This uh, is a sample. I mean, awesome. Seriously, both of those voices, like unbelievable, so good. Now here's one, so let's listen to this one. This one was more robotic. I, I wouldn't use this one, I didn't like it. So listen to what it sounds like when it's kind of like robotic. This is a sample paragraph that we have written so that we can test various voices. This helps us to see which voices we like for various roles. I don't think that it's so much the technology here. I think just he talks very, he's talking very robotic versus naturally. I think it may be like when he recorded, he was talking like, yes, today I'm going, I don't know how a robot would talk. Like however robots talk, I don't know. I, I don't know why I even tried to do that. That was like, okay, let's try Jeremy G. So we click, cre we, he's popped in here. We click create. See, it just takes about like 15 seconds for it to be already created. Let's listen. This is a sample paragraph that we have written so that we can test various voices. This helps us to see which so voices good. we like for various roles. We also like to test some difficult words or phrases like articulate and captivate to see if it can read them. Oh this my God, that's like perfect. How? I gotta know like the background of how they, like that's just so good. Oh my goodness. All right, we don't need to test a bunch more because I mean, they're all just so like amazing. I mean, you can hear like the voices. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut, don't overthink it. I mean, come on, how do you even get better than that? Okay, so I, that's all and that's it. That's the piece of software. Look, you create your thing, you download it. You push this little download button, boom, you got your sound file. I mean. It's, it can't be more easy. Okay, let's talk about pricing. So first of all, they have a free trial, which I highly recommend. I did try the free trial though, and they only give you four voices. So that's kind of weird because I get they don't want you to have all of them, but I'm also like, the point of the free trial is that I actually want to try all the voices to see if any of them are useful for me. And I could only look at four of them. And two of those four voices I didn't think were good. So I only thought two of the trial voices were good. So I was like, this is a really bad free trial. I think their free trial is terrible. I really think they need to do a week or whatever it happens to be and give you all the voices because that's what you're trying to try is the voices. I didn't like that. And then the first price range, which is 49 a month, also only gives you those four voices. You gotta have all the voices. So really the plan that you wanna choose is creative. And it's $99 a month. So for those who are like students or trying to use this for like a home project and stuff, that's kind of, that could be like pricey for you. But if you're on an e-learning project, $99 for your project to record all your narration. I mean, sometimes we're spending like five grand on narration. So $99 is a drop in the bucket for me to get all the e-learning that I need. Um, it's a pretty good price. And sometimes like when it's a pro small project, we are only paying someone like $100 or $200. So. It's, I think that's a fair price. So I think if you're an e-learning company, I think you, you found at least one tool of probably many that are now out there that do this. So I like it and I, yeah, 99 bucks. Now here's a weird thing about this company. Um, so when you sign up, you get kind of a generic email like welcome and you sign up because I did the free trial first, but now I have the full membership for my company. Um, there's no way to contact them for help. And there's also no information about their company on their website. Like there's no like about our company, like here, meet our CEO. There's nothing. There's also like no way to contact them, which is, I thought was very strange. Like I scroll down to like find that like, now you can, there's a help desk, but the help desk is just frequently asked questions with no contact, way to contact them, no email address. And then you can talk with us, but you can't actually talk with them. You have to type in your email. You can't even type a message. They give you a drop down, build a voice for my company, onboard my team, or you can, there's no help. Like I need assistance with your product, nothing. 
So I thought that was really strange. Um, that I, I found them. I finally found them on LinkedIn and stuff like that. I was like contacting people on LinkedIn. I finally got in touch with someone from their company, and the message they sent back was very canned. Like, I'm glad you're interested in our product. My message was like, I need more voices. I'm doing a review of this product. I need more than your free trial. Blah blah blah. And they responded back like a very canned message, like, thank you for showing interest in our product. If you'd like to meet to talk more, like send us an email and we'll set up a time to meet. And I was like, no, I literally just need full access to do a, a re video review of your product, um, which I had said in the email. So it was a kind of a weird response, but at least I did get a response back. But um, I do think that, you know, not having the, they are, it's an American company made in Seattle, Washington, but there is no about the company. and I. I don't like that I can't contact them or read about them. It just makes me seem like it's probably a very small organization getting this done, which is fine, but like the life cycle of this product may not be long. So if you are making videos, I would totally make sure as you make them, you download them. But it's definitely like a good product and it works. I love to see it expanded. Um, I'm happy to see this kind of stuff out there. So good job, Well Said Labs. Um, you got a good product out there. Anyone developing e-learning or anything like that, looking to do text-to-voice, this is a piece of software you got to check out. I'm telling you. So good. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Later.